Okay, so today we're going to talk about some key items from the PowerPoint for threads. I wanted to make sure that all of you have this information in your notes. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get forward. If you take a look at slide two in the PowerPoint, okay, you will see a diagram of a triangle. And then this is supposed to simulate a wedge. From simple machines, we know that wedges provide some advantages. Basically, a thread is a wedge that is wrapped around an axis. If you watch the video link that's provided, it gives a great explanation. On well, the next slide, this shows you all the major fastener types. Now, bolts and screws are special because they are serviceable. This means that they can be removed without damage to the fastener or the pieces you are putting together, and they can be easily reapplied. In the other cases, you can't do that. You need to break the components or damage the fastening method and start over. This is a great game on this slide. If you look at the links, the Kahoot game, and there's the game access right there. This is a great game that Mr. Hogue made to test your existing knowledge about fasteners. It'd be great if you could take it and see how well you do. It would also be interesting to do the game before you review this material and then do it after so you can see how much you've learned. Okay, now five and six we'll talk about together here. This is a slide reminding you to take some notes on the video that was already mentioned in one of the earlier slides. Hopefully between that and the notes I distributed in class, you should gain some good knowledge about threads. This slide talks about Cornell notes, a great way to take notes uh, when you're watching a video. 